In this video, we're going to explore the part of the desktop called the menu bar. You'll see this translucent bar across the top of your screen. It should look something like this when you first start up your Mac. It's called the menu bar because it will give you lots of options from which to choose. Just like when you go to a restaurant, you have to choose something off the menu. You can't just choose whatever you want. It has to be something they serve. Similarly, on this computer, it'll do certain things and not other things. So this menu bar at the top will let you choose from a variety of actions that you can take. We'll start on the left side with the Apple menu, signified by this small apple, the icon for Apple Incorporated. Click on it one time with your mouse. You'll see a list of options that will always be here. No matter which program you're using, this Apple icon will always be present. If you have just gotten your Mac and you're just now starting it up, I highly suggest coming down here to Software Update and running that. What it's going to do is it's going to check with Apple over the internet to see if any new versions of software have been released since your computer was made. Because there was uh, a period of time between when your computer was made in the factory to the time that you received it in your hands. And in, the, in that period of time, Apple might have updated some of their software to give you new features or better stability. At no time will Software Update charge you any money. Software Update is purely just to make your computer run better. So I can say unequivocally, always run these software updates. They'll just make you happier. Next down the list is System Preferences. As the name implies, this is where you get to change your settings or your preferences for the whole computer, the whole system. If you're coming from a PC, this is roughly analogous to your control panel in Windows. We'll explore system preferences in more detail in a later video, but if you'd like, you can click on system preferences here and explore what's in it. Feel free to make any changes you want in here. Uh, they are just preferences. You won't accidentally delete anything. I'll close this window, come back to the Apple menu. Next, the dock. The dock is this, down along the bottom of the screen with all of your icons for different programs, applications, folders. Here under the Apple menu, this dock list right here will let you change settings for your dock, such as turning hiding on so it goes away. To get it back, you move your mouse down there and it comes back. I'm going to turn that back off, turn hiding off. And here it comes. Feel free to change the settings under here as much as you would like. If a program of yours freezes, force quit here will kill the program. It will not freeze your entire computer. It will just stop the one program that has frozen, thus letting you continue on with the rest of your work. Lastly, we have the sleep option, which will just put your computer to sleep but not interrupt any work that you're doing. Uh, you won't have to save anything, it'll just save energy. Restart, shut down the computer, or log out of your user account. To the right of the Apple menu is the name of the program that you are currently using. In this case, we're using a program called Finder. As you switch between different programs on your computer, this name here will change. For example, if I open up iCal, You'll notice in the top left corner it now says iCal. It gives me an option to quit iCal or change the preferences for iCal. But this is only for this one program. If I come back and quit iCal, and then I start up Safari, you'll notice it still lists the name of the program at the top, namely Safari. I'm going to quit Safari. For now, we'll explore the Finder menu items. Under File, you can make new folder. You could copy and paste. You could view as a list or an icon. This gives you a number of options on how to change the Finder. Also, we have the Help menu here. In Snow Leopard, the Help menu has actually become helpful, contrary to their notorious reputation as being 
unhelpful. This help menu, you can either enter in a search word and browse the available options, or you can just browse the Mac Help catalog that it comes with. It's very useful. If you have a question about your Mac, I highly suggest going directly to the Help menu. Moving on to the right side, you should have a standard set of icons that looks something like this. We'll just skip to a couple of the important ones. Date and time are fairly self-explanatory. Most people will want to get on the internet as soon as they hook up their computer. If you have not already connected to the internet, and you do have a wireless internet connection in your area, click on this little pie wedge here and it will list any internet connections that are in the area. You can click on the one that belongs to you and enter in any password that might be applicable and you will be connected to the internet. This one over here is for time machine, this little clock icon. This allows you to back up your computer in case it dies. We will talk about this in more detail in a later video, but if you do already have an external hard drive, plug it into your computer and Time Machine will ask you if you want to use that external hard drive to back up your computer. I highly suggest doing that uh, sooner rather than later as you start adding material to your computer such as emails or documents or photos. Uh, you don't want to lose those if anything were to happen to your computer such as it being stolen or broken or you pour your coke into it or drop it out of a window. Uh, if you use Time Machine to back up all of your information, that won't be a problem, except you'll have to buy a new laptop. Lastly on the right side, Spotlight. Spotlight will search your entire computer for anything that you put into it. So enter in any search criteria into Spotlight and it will give you all the results across your entire computer. If you ever lose anything, Spotlight is your friend. That's it for an introduction to the menu bar. Let's move on. If you found this video helpful and you live in San Diego County, please don't hesitate to contact Interlaced for all your Apple needs, from setup to training to support. Thanks.